If you've been wanting to dive into Figma, then you've come to the right place. Today, we're going to be creating this cool page, and along the way, you're going to get a crash course in using some of Figma's best tools like a professional. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we jump into all the content and colors, we need to start with a frame. Think of a frame as your canvas or page. We can create one by simply clicking F. On the right side of your screen, you'll see a variety of options. For this video, let's select Desktop. Now, let's make our background dark to resemble the night sky and add some white dots to make it look like stars. Next, we'll add our logo. Since it's text-based, we can easily duplicate it to create our menu items. We're going to have Product, Features, and Pricing. Finally, let's duplicate one more time to create a book a demo button. This button will have a blue background to make it pop. We'll group all the navigation items together and add a subtle gray border under the navigation. This way, it's neat and doesn't draw too much attention to itself. Next up, we'll add a small testimonial section with pictures of users and star ratings to build credibility and trust. For icons, I usually use flat icon because it has really large collection. I'll add a little icon and then make five copies of it. Below the icons, we'll show how many projects we've finished. Now let's add a headline. make it two lines and center aligned. To make it stand out, we'll use two different fonts and add a nice gradient from light to dark. Below the headline, we'll include a small description and of course the primary button. I've already got one button which is blue and will serve as the secondary button. For the primary button, I'll make it a bit more stylish with a nice glow effect. The front of our button will be dark, but the background will have a gradient with a blur effect. Under the main content, we'll have a screenshot with an app combined with a glow effect. On the bottom, we'll have a dark gradient to make the transition to the next section seamless. Let's place a screenshot over the glow to get a nice effect for our screenshot. Finally, for the hero section, We'll add some logos to build even more trust with the users. Time for a quick design preview. Great progress. Next up, we have the product section. We'll start by duplicating our main headline. Since this is a secondary headline, we'll make it a bit smaller and update the text to reflect our product. We'll also duplicate the paragraph description and make sure it clearly explains what our product does. Below the headline, we'll put four boxes. Each box will have a screenshot of our platform and a short description. Let's make them dark with a soft stroke and rounded corners to keep the design clean and modern. To make these boxes pop, we'll add a gradient circle with a blur effect. It'll give them a subtle glow and make them look more polished. Next, let's add another headline specifically for this section. We'll make it slightly smaller than our main headline and include description text in two lines beneath it. We'll add platform screenshots to each box Crop them to fit perfectly, and add a gradient at the bottom to make them look super polished. Now, let's duplicate one of these cards, rearrange the layout by moving the text to the bottom, and place the graphic at the top. This variation keeps the design engaging and dynamic. After that, we'll duplicate both of these card styles and update the content for each to showcase different aspects of our product. 
Finally, at the very top of this section, we'll add a tagline that clearly states product. This tagline will help viewers know exactly what to expect and give them a quick rundown of what's coming up. Since the headline and description will be repeating across the rest of the page, I'm going to group them and duplicate them for our next feature section. On the left side, we have a tagline, a headline, a paragraph description, and a button. with an image of the platform on the right side. Let's copy the above card, remove the text, and replace the image. The next section will be similar, so I'll copy and paste it, but change the content. We'll duplicate it one more time and update the content again. Let's reduce the spacing between the sections and now we have the Features section. Next up, we'll highlight a bit more about the app's features with icons and descriptions. Let's start by creating a card. Adding an icon. a headline, and a description. Now we'll duplicate this card three times and arrange them into two rows. Once we change the content, the section will be ready. Let's duplicate the headline one more time for our next pricing section. Here, we'll start by creating a toggle for yearly versus monthly subscription plans. Under the toggle, we'll have cards for basic and pro pricing. The basic plan will cost 29 month. Let's add a subtle divider and include the benefits of the plan with check mark icons. We will list four features here, so we'll just duplicate and change the content for each. Next, let's add a button at the bottom of the basic plan card. Let's group this card and duplicate it for the pro plan. We'll add two more features and a glow effect to the background to distinguish it. Under the pricing section, we will have a testimonial section with cards displaying short comments and the names of the persons. Pretty simple. Once one card is ready, I'll duplicate it and arrange them into two rows. Finally, let's create a call to action to attract more attention. I'll place a large gradient circle in the background with a blur effect. 
Over it, I'll create a rectangle and place the text there. Let's copy the button from the hero section and change the text. I'll add a stroke to the rectangle to make it stand out a bit more. For the footer, I'll include a logo and some menu items. Let's also add a newsletter form. I'll create a rectangle for an email input and a button to send the email. On the right side, we'll have two stacks of links. Let's take a moment to preview our final design. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you watched the whole video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments.